Jonathan Haggerty is the former one championship flyweight world champion. where the top fighters are usually decorated champions boasting hundreds of fights experience. John was quite the unlikely winner when he defeated former Lumpini champion Sam. John's meagre 13 professional fights up against the 300 plus of Same made John's impressive win convert him into quite the superstar. He has since lost the belt to Smashing Machine and current champion Rod Tang. John also coming up short in a follow-up rematch, but it didn't do much to damage the stock of Haggerty. Haven't really seen Haggerty start to utilize that clinch yet to close that distance. Despite the setbacks, John remains an active title contender in one Muay Thai amongst a weight division filled with elites. Number two then. Beautiful hiking! Known for his explosive power, with 11 of his 18 wins coming via knockout, John is a fan favourite with his exciting and often flamboyant style. He is an excellent athlete, both fast and strong, and has good attributes for the weight class with his tall frame. But the foundations of Haggerty's game all revolve around the use of the lead leg. Like many Muay Thai fighters, John has his weight distributed unevenly, keeping the majority of his weight on the back leg, making his lead foot light. This enables John to lift the knee of his front leg easily, which works in multiple ways. Defensively, it serves as a deterrent for opponents looking to lunge in with punches in a straight line, with John using the leg to simply be in the way, or the opponent runs straight in onto a push kick. The higher you lift the lead leg, bringing the knee in towards the chest, the easier it is to extend the lower part of the leg out. The push kick doesn't need to be fully extended, as it isn't an attack. Merely putting something in the way for the opponent to run onto and make their punches fall short. Best match in one Super Series so far. Another great advantage of a light lead leg is it is always ready to block kicks with the shin. John will opt to stand in a more narrowed stance to make this easier and he can bring the leg across his body to defend kicks coming to his right, as well as the easy check of low kicks and body kicks coming to his left. When in a more narrowed stance, the boxer can't generate as much power when punching. It is also a less sturdy base when defending combinations of punches, if the opponent beats the push kick, which is where John can become a bit unstuck, especially if pressed against the rope. John has methods of overcoming this shortcoming of a narrowed stance. The roundhouse kicks off the lead leg are a major player. John has a very dangerous lead high kick, which can catch opponents off guard. With the help of John's speed and proficiency at throwing the technique, it often completely blindsides the opponent. If it doesn't catch them clean and cause damage, then it definitely causes alarm, making an opponent more wary of bringing their hands away from their head. The downside for the opponent is the main ways for dealing with the teeth are catches and parries using the hands. John will continually stab at the opponent with offensive front kicks to the leg and body. This disrupts a fighter's rhythm and makes it difficult for them to get going. It's frustrating as much as it is painful. Once this teep has been established, the opponent will start to bite every time John lifts the leg. He can then begin to use this as a fake to close the distance and mount an offence. An important thing to note from this fake is John uses it to overcome the downside of less powerful upper body attacks from a narrowed stance. As John hops in with the fake, he widens his base. This enables him to punch an elbow with much more power. Agony starts to utilize that clinch yet to close that distance. With a myriad of possibilities coming from the lead leg of Haggerty, it can be a very baffling problem for opponents to overcome. It's the hesitation John capitalises on to mount his more aggressive and damage-inflicting attacks. 
the multi dimensions of being able to switch the lead leg between both offense and defense make it difficult to counter Haggerty, whilst making it easy for Haggerty to quickly shift between a raised leg as a defensive deterrent into an attack to capitalize on an opening presented. It makes John able to make split second decisions quickly. John's head coach, Christian Knowles, puts a lot of emphasis into drilling these particular transitions. His Instagram page is an excellent source for training ideas, as well as the Sam Boxing YouTube channel where there is a compilation of their training together. The lead leg game leads into the hip feints and tempo changes, Haggerty always building on his work. Once again, thanks for watching. I enjoy making these videos and have plenty more up on the Patreon page which don't get put onto YouTube. If you'd like to see more videos like this, the link is in the bio. Life's opponents up like a samurai swinging of Sammy Gayam action out of Sammy. As always, thank you from Pro Striking. Let's see, look at the option here. Jonathan Haggerty starting to step in with the right elbow that he really likes to throw, the downward arching right elbow finish off the round. Here's another look, another one of those right elbows. That push kick, that's the thing that's... The world champion. Nice skip, knee into the punch, lands it! Absolutely loving this one. Call it an upset, but what it was was the performance of a lifetime by the Phenom. And now, one Super Series flyweight Muay Thai world champion, Jonathan Haggerty.